Hello, my name is Jerome Segura. I'm a security researcher at Malwarebytes. And today I'm going to talk about exploit kits. They're the kind of threat that can infect your computer as you're simply visiting a website. That site could be compromised, or perhaps it had a malicious advert in it. In either case, within a few seconds, your browser will be redirected to the exploit kit landing page, and your computer will be infected with any kind of malware that the bad guys want to push at that very moment. Today, we're going to look at four of the most common exploit kits we're seeing in our telemetry. And this is for this uh, winter 2017 edition. We have Malwarebytes version 3 installed on this machine. And we've prepped the computer so that it has a slightly outdated version of the Flash Player. And we'll also be testing with Internet Explorer. That's to ensure our chances of infection, which hopefully won't happen because we have Malwarebytes that's protecting us right now with the real-time protection. The first exploit kit we're going to look at is the rig exploit kit. This is by far the most common one. You hear a lot of people talk about it. It's been spreading a lot of ransomware, such as server. In the last few months, and if you followed our blog, you'll see that we, we describe many different variants of rig. But as far as the last month is concerned, we've pretty much seen only that, that one particular variant. So now we just call it rig exploit kit rather than, you know, the different previous denomination it had. We're going to launch a refer that was from a malvertising campaign. And Rig is, is very popular on some of the top malware campaigns, whether it's from compromised websites, pseudo dark leash, or EI test, but also a lot of the malvertising campaigns we see. And it was blocked. Next one is Sundown EK. Sundown is a kind of exploit kit that a lot of people regard as a thief because it happens that a lot of this code has actually been copied from other exploit kits. Not as popular as Rig, but we do see it. Uh, we see it in some advertising campaigns. And in the last few months, it's been interesting with Sundown because we've seen a lot of pattern changes in, in its URL structure. Interesting move from the attacker side, which keeps on changing its pattern to try and e evade detection. All right, so we just launched Sundown and it was blocked. Next one is Neutrino. Neutrino is, uh, is actually an older exploit kit. It's been around for quite a while. But in the last few months, it's gone into private mode. So you're not as likely to see it. At least not many people are talking about it because, you know, it's used, uh, it's using very particular attacks. And that's something, you know, that we, we have seen with other exploit kits as well before in, I would say, more valuable attacks. For example, uh, some malvertising attacks that are going after, you know, some of the, the top publishers. And that's when attackers want to use an exploit kit that is, you know, they're not going to use the most common one that everybody talks about. They might use, a, you know, a private one that has per perhaps better exploits uh, and less detections against it. So let's have a look at the Neutrino. Okay, so we launched Neutrino, it's landing page, and it is blocked. The last one is Magnitude. Magnitude is uh, an exploit kit that's uh, focused on s only some countries in Asia. So unless you're in one of those countries, you're very unlikely to actually encounter it. It's not as popular as the other ones, but it's active and it's still being developed. All right, it was blocked. And Magnitude, you know, like the, the other ones, is also uh, known to be used in, in malvertising campaigns. There seems to be always the same kind of uh, ad networks that are, that are pushing this exploit kit. All right, so that uh, completes our roundup for the most common exploit kits we're seeing in this uh, winter 2017 edition. Thank you for watching. My name is Jerome Segura. Until next time.